All right, so back to school is right around the corner, and if you're having trouble figuring out what shoes you want for back to school, make sure to watch this video. Hopefully, I'm gonna give you guys a couple options, and hopefully you get some ideas on what you can get for back to school. So now, these aren't all the options you can get. What I'm gonna show you, I'm just going based on what I have in my collection, just so I don't have to go buy stuff, but if you find something else different from these, that also works fine. And with the shoes I'm gonna show you, you can just get the basic ones. You'll see in a minute when I show you, but most of them are like super hyped, high-end collabs and you don't necessarily have to get those to look good for back to school, so I'm just showing you guys what I have, and those are the only ones I have, so you can get the basic ones. You don't have to like worry about getting the nice ones. Before I get into it, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Just hit 200 subs, so thank you so much for that. Hopefully, I'll be able to hit 300 subs by the time I go back to school, which is like August 20th. High goal, but hopefully we can make it happen, so now on to the shoes. So the first shoe I'm gonna show you is pretty simple. It's pretty easy to throw on, and it's for if you just don't wanna like put together a fit, you just kinda wanna throw something uncomfortable and just walk out the door. So those are gonna be Birkenstocks. You can get the EVA ones. These are relatively cheap. These are like $40 a pair. And they're pretty durable and they come in a bunch of different colors so you can get a whole bunch of them and match. Or if you wanna get something a little bit nicer, you can get the soft bed ones. These have like a leather strap instead of foam. And these are also really nice. These are more comfortable in my opinion than the regular EVAs, but both of them work fine. They're still both really comfortable and durable and they pretty much go with anything depending on what colors you get, so you can't really go wrong with these. I think these are a must have, especially if you live in a hot area, because sandals are gonna be pretty key there just so your feet don't sweat. So you can wear these with socks or no socks, so highly recommend these, so now on to the next shoe. So the next shoe I'm gonna show you is also pretty simple, and it's good for the hot or cold areas, and it's fly knits, so I have two pairs right here. They're both the same, but pretty much any fly knits will work. Um, they look really good and they go with a lot of things depending on what colors you get and they're really comfortable too. I had a pair of these that I wore to school like every day in black but I recently sold them so I'll probably be wearing these this school year just because they're really comfortable and they're really simple and go with a lot of things so highly recommend fly knits. These aren't really expensive you can probably find these for like less than $75 so Really cheap option and they look really good, so now on to the next shoe. So next shoe I'm gonna show you is also really simple, but if you don't wanna get Nikes or Adidas, this is a good option, you'll be a little bit different. So that's gonna be Asics. Here I have Asics Jelly 5s and some Asics Jelly 3s. These are both really comfortable. I'll also be wearing these a lot to school this year. Um, I've made a video on these. These are limited to 100 pairs, so you don't necessarily have to get these because these were kind of expensive. And then this was a Ronnie Fide collab, which he makes the Kith stuff. So these were also expensive. So you don't have to get something super expensive like these, but regular A6 Gel Light 5s or 3s will work just fine. And the colors they make are all really nice. So you can't really go wrong with these. And I think they're really good. I need to pick up more pairs of these just because I would prefer to have these over something like a Nike shoe, just because no one else is probably gonna have it. And for me, that's pretty important just to stand out a bit. So highly recommend these, now on to the next shoe. So another popular shoe that I highly recommend is gonna be the Prestos. These are the off-white Prestos. You don't have to get off-white ones, you can just get regular ones. Those also work really fine. I haven't tried these on yet just cause I'm gonna sell these later, but I've heard these are really comfortable and they look good with a lot of things as I've seen people wear them. So these are definitely recommended for back to school. I think they're less than $150, but I could be wrong. Super nice option, not too expensive. And they go with a lot of things. You can get a couple pairs of them and they're really comfortable, as I've said, so highly recommend these, so now on to the next shoe. Next shoe, pretty popular for most people for back to school, is the Vapor Maxes and just regular Air Maxes. These are also both off-white shoes, just because I have a bunch of off-white shoes, but you don't have to get those. You can just get regular Vapor Maxes, those work fine. I'm looking for a pair of regular Vapor Maxes, just so I don't have to wear these to school every day, just because these are pretty expensive. And these are Air Max 90s, these would also work. I know a lot of people get these for back to school, just cause they're like $150, they're not too expensive. These are a bit more expensive. I think these are over $200. So if you wanna spend a little bit more, definitely get the Vapor Maxes. I think they're more comfortable than the regular Air Maxes. So both of these are really nice. You can't go wrong with either of these. I highly recommend these for back to school. So now on to the last shoe and then that'll be it for the video. So the last shoe is pretty much like what most people would want for back to school. And that's gonna be Jordans. You can't go wrong with these. These are always super popular. Jordan 1's especially, really good for back to school. They go with a bunch of stuff and they look good whether they're brand new or super beat up. So this is one shoe that you probably should have in your collection. You can, they release a bunch of different colorways. So there's probably one out there that you want. Or this is, this was like a pretty popular shoe last year, but these are the only Jordans I have at the moment. And these are Jordan 6's. 
These are my favorite Jordans. Personally, I don't wear Jordans, so you won't see me in these. These work really well for back to school, and they're usually pretty durable, and I'm assuming they're comfortable. I've never worn Jordans before, but these are super sick. I highly recommend Jordans. So that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, I gave you some ideas on what you can get for back to school. Um, if you make... So that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, I gave you guys some options on what you could get for back to school. If you have another option, please leave that in the comment down below. I'd be really interested to see what you guys think would be good for back to school. Also, comment what shoes you'll be wearing on the first day of school. Um, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet, so I'll have to think about that. Maybe I'll post a video on the fit I wear for back to school. But that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, we can get to 300 subs before I go back to school. I think that would be really cool. That's all for today's video. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.